Hello all, today we are going to talk about accommodation anomalies. What is accommodation? Suppose we are seeing a distant object, suddenly we have to see a near object or we have to read something at near. So there is a phenomenon called accommodation by which our lens, crystalline lens bulges out okay, and there are actions of ciliary muscles so that we can see the object at near. Okay? So if we have, do not have a proper accommodation, right, so we cannot read the objects at near. So that is a main problem. So with age, we lose our accommodation, uh, capability of accommodation, right. So there are some accommodation anomalies in each which we need to look into, okay. So first is the accommodation insufficiency. So how do you get that Accommodation insufficiency. In accommodation insufficiency, the object becomes blurry, right? So what happens? We in RAF ruler, the near point of accommodation is receded. The amplitude of accommodation is low as age related. If we compare that, it is much lower than the that age. Also, while doing an orthoptic evaluation, we find that we get a higher lag of accommodation in MEM retinoscopy, right? So we can get a plus 1 or a plus 125 while doing the MEM. And also the PRA will be low. Why? Because we are stimulating the accommodation in the positive relative accommodation test. So the PRA will be also low. So if it, it will be maybe we will get a minus 1.5 or a minus 2 or something around that so the PRA value will be low the NRA will not be affected so these are the clinical signs of accommodative insufficiency so you can find it out very easily second is your accommodative infacility so what happens in accommodative infacility while doing the flippers test that is a uh, we if we do a flippers test along with the ward rock card we feel the patient cannot either clear either the plus lens or the min minus lens of the flippers. So that is the accommodative infacility we can get, right? So third is the ill sustained accommodation. So in ill sustained accommodation, what is happening? The patient is having accommodation. So when you measure the amplitude of accommodation by the RAF ruler, it is normal quiet. But if you do repeated measures of amplitude of accommodation you find a lower value in each attempt okay suppose you have got a 15 diopter once next time you do you have got a 13 diopter then again you are doing you are getting a 12 that diopter that means basically the patient cannot the patient has accommodation but he cannot sustain it for longer duration so that is the main problem in case of ill sustained accommodation okay uh, then comes the accommodation excess. So in accommodation excess what happens there is excessive amount of accommodation. So you get an amplitude of higher amplitude of accommodation. Suppose requirement is 10 diopter of accommodation you get a 12 diopter or 13 diopter of accommodation. Also your NPA is also uh, very less that means NPA is uh, like suppose 10 centimeter you require you get a 8 centimeter NPA okay. So that is the thing. In MEM retinoscopy, MEM retinoscopy, you get a lead of accommodation. That is anything less than plus 0.75 or anything less than plus 0.5, you get a MEM retinoscopy. Right? So while checking the NRA PRA also, the you find the PRA amount to be higher. So you can get a minus. 3.5 you can get a minus 4 minus 5 anything you can get right but the nra value remains okay normal so that is a main problem in case of a accommodative excess the patients complain of eye strain while doing work okay so these are the basic things in uh, while testing for in a case of a accommodative excess so similar is the accommodative spasm so in case of Accommodative spasm it is um, mainly associated with also with convergence spasm. Okay, 
so as accommodation and convergence comes in the near triad right so all of us knows that whenever there is an accommodation there is something called accommodative convergence that also occur together with accommodation so in case of an accommodative spasm it may be diff um, most of the times accommodative spasm is associated with convergence spasm also so this accommodative spasm results from some sort of mental trauma okay so if the child has become uh, emotional right so it also the you can see in the patient some uh, signs of the pseudo myopia so accommodative spasm the treatment is your you have to relax the accommodation right so you need to give a plus lens plus lens to relax the accommodation sometimes we have to give cycloplegic eye drops like strong cycloplegic eye drops like homite macropinifib port we have to monitor the patient and see and then we have to give a plus uh, lens also for that and also we have to give the cycloplegic eye drops and then recall the patient in a week's time and we have to monitor if the accommodation is getting relaxed or not okay so these are the problems in accommodation exactly the anomalies of accommodation so basically if there is an accommodative insufficiency we give an exercise of the heart chart exercise we give right heart chart exercise we give and if there is an accommodative infacility we give the flippers exercise with the ward rock cut thank you